Hello and welcome back. In this video, what we're going to do is go and actually um, do most of our login actions where the form can actually uh, be used to log our user in. So uh, we haven't built any sort of validation class yet, but, but we're going to. So what we want to do here is inside of the login action, um, I want to check if there has been a post. It, uh, if there's something posted to this uh, action, uh, we're going to do something. And what we're going to do um, is I'm going to put a comment here for form uh, validation. And we're going to come back to that. Um, and But we'll go ahead and set up some of the basics of that. So we're going to say uh, validation is equal to true for now. We'll change that in a minute. And then we're going to say if uh, validation um, and for now, we'll just say equal true, which it always will because we just set that. Um, but basically, I'm just setting up these uh, because we're going to need those once we do our validation. Okay. So then what we need to do is look for the user. So we're going to say user equals, and we're going to say this user's um, model. And the reason we can do that is because we did this load model here. So now we have access to that like this. So this user's model, and then we can use methods inside of that. So this user's model find by username, okay? And we're gonna say dollar underscore post username, all right? And then um, uh, what we can do is, um, let's just dump and die user real quick. And let's go back here to the front end, refresh, um, call to undefined method, register load model. So I think what's happened here is, let me make sure that we actually have that load model built inside of our controller. Uh, I don't think we've done that yet. So we can do that really, really quickly. So inside the core, go to controller, and you can see that we don't have a load model so that's why that broke so right here in the constructor we're trying to use this load model since this extends controller we need to go ahead and put that here so let's go ahead and create that um, really quickly it shouldn't be a big deal at all but this is going to be a protected uh, function and we'll say load model and the model gets passed there and we're going to say if class exists this is a PHP function they give us. If that exists, then we're going to say this model. Okay. Is equal to new model. to lower model okay let's check that now refresh unexpected protect uh, I've got a course <laughs> got to spell that correctly is protected undefined variable column name uh, on model on line 17. So let's take a look at that. So I didn't actually set that up here. So that's um, column name is going to equal column field. All right, take a look at that. There we go. <laughs> okay. So let's go back now to our register function. And we haven't posted anything, so if I just hit log in, that should post. Um, invalid argument to supply for each on the line 105. So it's probably because this nothing's been found here. Um, so let's go ahead and look at 
what I did, so let's go back, refresh, it's because I don't have a user in that, so let's just put one in here that I do have, arm curtis, and this is the one we manually put into our table, sharplasers.com. Well, one thing I see real quick here is we have, there's an error right there in that, but that's not going to fix this issue. Okay, so the problem was that I was trying to log in with a user that didn't exist. Um, my username is Parham Curtis. So when I put in Parham Curtis, um, you can see that I do get that user returned there. Okay, so um, we have we have. Um, let's go back to register login action here so then if we have a user we can say if user okay but we need also need to know that password so if user um, and password verify and we're going to verify input get password. We're going to use this later for, but we don't have that right now. So for now, we're going to say dollar underscore post password. And then what we're going to verify that against is the user password. Okay, so if that, if there is a user and the password is correct, um, we'll set remember is equal to is set dollar underscore post remember me okay if that's set and again we don't have our input thing yet so we're just going to say dollar underscore post Otherwise, it'll be false. All right, so then we're going to do user login. And we're going to pass remember, which will either be true or false there, along with that. And we're going to say router redirect let's make sure we have that set up so we have a route we don't have our redirect function yet let's see how we're doing on time um, sure we can knock that out really quickly so let's try to let's try to do this real quick in our router we want public static function we'll call that redirect we're going to pass that in a location um, if not headers sent and I got some stuff mixed up so if not headers sent then what we're going to do is we're going to do a function called header Say location and then we'll concatenate on p root and we'll concatenate on location okay so if the headers are set um, we'll do x up there as well if the headers are set then what we want to do is use JavaScript um, 
to do this. So we'll just say echo script type equals text JavaScript. All right. And we'll do window.location.href is equal to double quote and then we'll concatenate on proot dot location dot double quote just one of those double quotes kind of hard with my <laughs> editor not wanting me to do that and then <clears throat> so basically we're just echoing out some JavaScript um, and we, probably a good idea to echo no script and then we'll do uh, meta HTTP quiv equals refresh content is equal to zero URL is equal to Right. Oh. oh, script. And we'll exit there as well. All right, so that redirect should work now. Time we got. All right. So that uh, redirect basically checks if PHP header if the headers have already been sent. Um, then it's going to use JavaScript to redirect the page. If they haven't been sent, then we can use the header location uh, syntax with PHP to redirect. Um, so that's um, about it on that. Let me check input. Yeah, so let's go ahead really quickly and in the core here, let's see if we can knock out an entire uh, input.php class. All right, and then we want a public static function sanitize. And this can be exactly the same as our helper there's no difference in this except for one of them we're going to have in this class. HTML entities, pass in dirty, uh, int quotes, utf-8. All right, so that's our sanitize method. And then the other one we need is our input. So public static function get input name okay and then we'll say if is set dollar underscore post input uh, then we're going to return self sanitize dollar underscore post Uh, else if is set dollar underscore get input then we're going to return self sanitize dollar underscore get input 
So basically it's going to check for post and get variables with the input name. And um, I forgot my scene function there. And it will get the post first and return it. If not, it's going to check for get variables and then return those. But it's going to sanitize them either way. Um, so really quickly we can jump back into our register and we can replace this with input get remember me and replace this one with input get uh, password there we go yep all right so that is going to be our login stuff for now what we have left to do here is do our form validation so we'll build our validation class in the next uh, in the next video and then we'll finish up this login action and make sure all that's working and troubleshooting anything that we've messed up. So I'll see you in the next video and I hope you're having fun so far. I hope you're learning a lot. Take time in between these videos to read through the code and make sure you understand what we're doing. All right, talk to you soon.